poorly made toys to cleaning supplies, young children can be exposed to some dangerous chemicals. Coming up next on First News at 4, we'll have tips on keeping these kids toxic free. We'll be right back. If you have young children in your home, keeping them healthy and safe is always a priority for the family and something that goes hand in hand with being eco-friendly. King County Eco-Consumer Tom Watson is back today. We're joined by some adorable guests to give us a few fun and eco-friendly, uh, family-friendly tips as well. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll get to little Frey in just a second. But um, what are some of the important tips you have for all the families watching? To really be conscious of the toys and the furniture that you have for your kids mm -hmm. and, and check the labels to make them make sure they're uh, less toxic, they, that they don't have sketchy chemicals in them. And there are more and more products available like that. And you think a lot of people would be surprised by what's in everyday products that kids use every day? Yes, I think it's getting a little better. The manufacturers are getting better, but there are still um, sometimes heavy metals and and uh, certain chemicals like phthalates and formaldehyde in products. And Freya here um, is using some um, less toxic art supplies. This is Freya and her mom, Amanda Godwin. Hello, ladies. Hi, Freya. Hi. How old are you? Three and a half. What you painting? Um, I'm painting. It in. She's painting it in. <laughs> <laughs> now she's having a whole lot of fun, and everything that she's using here is toxic free. Well, it's lower, definitely lower toxics, like those uh, things that look like rocks okay. that are there. Those are made of vegetables. Oh, that's an example right there. Mom's holding it up here. Let me made with spinach. It. Made with, the, I'm sorry, spinach? Spinach. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the red one is red cabbage. Oh, wow. And this, this is a, an easel with. Um, without um, the sketchy chemicals uh, meeting the European and Canadian standards. Okay. That puzzle there also. And we're moving to the puzzle, and, and those puzzles are a better option than others. Well, wood is better rather than plastic in general. Wood with, without um, a treated product on okay. it. Okay, and over to your left. Yes. Well, this the, is important stuff. Yes, the, um, to go with that, the, the kid's uh, chair, and that is from uh, Manny and Simon. That is formaldehyde-free. And then this is a, a cabinet lock, which is really cool. Okay, how and does that work? And so, so you want to keep your cleaning products in here, and this is a magnetic lock, and this is the key. And so, so it's locked, it, it, so you can't open that unless you, unless you have the key, and the magnet clicks, and then you open it, and you see that that's the magnetic lock. That wasn't around when my <laughs> wife and I, when our kid was little, and it's really fantastic. You can get these online or other places. And you don't have to have that unsightly lock thing, the, the you know, the, yeah. the hinges and the, okay. This that's is our mock up of a really cleaning cool. products cabinet, so, okay. so that's great. And then costume jewelry can be a hazard. That's something that people should really be careful about, getting metallic costume jewelry for kids. These are ones that the organization um, HealthyStuff.org in Michigan tested, and they got them at major stores and found that they had lead in them, just uh, products like this, costume jewelry. So, so I would really be aware of buying that kind of thing. Things from, that are really marketed yes. to children have lead in them. So yes. you have to do your homework. Yes. Okay, Tom, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being here, Freya. Welcome. Fr Freya, that's Welcome, fantastic. She says. <laughs> <laughs> for more information, please go to our website, comonews.com and click on Como4 TV.